here's what Joy Reid said last night, and I want to just get a quick response from you, if I can, uh, over on MSNBC about the Yunkin win and your win. Watch this. You have to be willing to vocalize that these Republicans are dangerous, that this isn't a party that's just another political party that disagrees with us on tax policy, that at this point, they're dangerous. They're dangerous to our national security because stoking that kind of soft white nationalism eventually leads to the hardcore stuff. Your reaction to that, Ms. Sears? I wish Joy Reid would invite me on her show. I'm, let's see if she's woman enough to do that. I'd go in a heartbeat and we have a real discussion without Joy speaking about me behind my back, if you will. She talks about white supremacy. Does she know that I ran against a white supremacist? I mean, Joy, come on, get your facts straight and then come talk to me. That you are the first woman of color, woman, uh, lieutenant governor of, of Virginia. And I thought it was very interesting last night when you just said, you know, I am black, if you haven't noticed, I think were, were your words. And then you said, um, but it's not about that. What did you mean by that? Because we are framing too many issues in terms of race and it just continues to divide us. And, 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 and unfortunately, politicians are using it as a tool because of the things that have happened to us historically to advance, I would think, their nefarious purposes. And so if we stop just looking at race and just looking at people, because you see, I'm destroying all the narratives about race. Look at me, look at me. Joy Reid is a disgusting human being and Winsome Sears is right to call her out and challenge her on a debate because liberals like Joy Reid, especially limousine liberals like Joy Reid and Whoopi Goldberg, they love to sit on their cozy couch on The View every day and pretend like they know what's going on in America, what real Americans care about, but they don't. They actually don't know facts. They don't know statistics. They don't understand what real America cares about. They look down on those who vote for Republicans, regardless of their gender or their race, right? Winsome Sears is a African-American woman who is the lieutenant governor of a big state here in the country. She would be a woman one would think these liberal limousine women would absolutely adore and love, but because she's a Republican, believes in conservative values, not the woke far left agenda, she's ridiculed. And these women will never give her the time of day. They will never debate her because they know that she has the facts and she will absolutely obliterate them in a debate. These women are cowards and they are disgusting.